Hello! Welcome back. We've got a lot of animals coming in pretty much all the time and we've got a lot of work to do. So first of all, we're going to take a quick look around our little, our new quarantine compound area we have here. So we've got somewhere to store our new species before we build a proper enclosure for them. Let's have a quick meeting. So we've got our scarlet ibis over here and some spotted whistling duck as well. We've got new blue winged kookaburra. Over here we have a blue bird of paradise. It's very blue. And then a pair of squirrel monkey and a pair of three-banded armadillo as well. That's right, so we've just sort of rigged this area up quite quickly so we can start getting our animals into our zoo that bit faster, you know. Um, and we can take metal jet. Anyway, today we are going to be building an enclosure for our armadillos. Nice and simple, it should be. I think we'll take this little trail back down to the main zoo. Um, it should be pretty straightforward. Just a little filler enclosure that we're going to put, I think, at the foot of the old baboon rock over here. So let's get started. So we built the army's little enclosure and as you saw we've done a few more little changes around the zoo, used some of our money to just um, expand a few enclosures, improve some things. Uh, first of all we've got a new little banner up, it's a little thing but I think it makes you know our entrance way here a bit more appealing. It? It's not the right species of toucan but I'm sure they'll enjoy the company. So let's head in. And we have the little armadillo enclosure just here. There we are. Count the bands there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three banded armadillo. Hello. Yeah, so I just went for something quite simple with this one. I think the big concrete rock 
is enough to kind of draw your eye. And it doesn't have much in the web of viewing area other than this little narrow walkway along here, which obviously is an ideal as a, as a viewing area where you want people stopping. But the idea is that because they're quite um, small little animals out of the way, it's just kind of a filler enclosure to add a little bit more interest, you know, make it seem a bit more rich and vibrant. Um, you know, can't turn every corner, there's a new animal. There they are. Yeah, this is nice and simple. Didn't actually put down, I think, any new foliage at all, just these little burrows for them, a few rocks to kind of break up the lay of the enclosure. And, you know, hopefully in time they'll start tunnelling in the sand and dirt here and making their own their own little systems here. As armadillos are inclined to do. We'll press on round. So here's Dahlia. And our lucky girl, she's got some new climbing structures here. <coughs> Pardon me, she's got some new climbing structures here. Can get up a bit higher, a little bit more to clamber over, and she is asleep immediately. And of course, Lorca, our Jaguar, indeed, we've expanded his enclosure, and we've given him a new viewing window. Oh, there he goes. On the thing. Giving him a viewing window so guests can get up a bit close to him. See this wonderful cat here. And then we'll come round again. My call of flight. And once again we can see the top of what will be our big new project that we're working on, our wetlands aviary. But we'll see some more on that later. And then over here in our quarter enclosure again, just a few more little wooden platforms. So you can get up a bit higher, move around in a few more different directions without having to go down on the ground so much. But yes, our wetlands aviary. So our flamingos are going to be rehomed over there, along with the ibis and some other waterfowl, and this enclosure, we are going to revamp a little bit into a pool for crocodiles, or specifically black caiman, which is, I believe, the largest species of caiman. Um, we've traded some of our flamingos traded some of our flamingos for a caiman, so we'll be saying goodbye to one of our pairs shortly. But in the meantime, that's what we've got. I'm excited to get started on this one, it's going to be a good one. But anyway, thank you very much for watching, it's been a quick little one. We got to see our armadillos in action. There we are, digging away. And this is where I'll say goodbye. Thanks for watching.